Hello. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to uh, reflash your bootloader onto a Pro Micro Arduino clone uh, in the event that you overwrite it or it is otherwise corrupted. Uh, so first, uh, here is some expected behavior. Uh, this is our working Pro Micro. We can connect it up. Uh, attempt to flash it. Uh, just this blank sketch. And it succeeds. Uh, counter example, the corrupted bootloader. If we attempt the same thing and try and flash this, uh, it will fail to find it on the COM port. Uh, as you can see here, there's another error, uh, USB device not recognized. If we open device manager, we see it here. And we do not see the bootloader or the Arduino Leonardo uh, COM3 or COM4 ports. Uh, so the first step in getting this to work uh, is building our circuit that we're going to need to connect uh, essentially the uh, the circuit for an Arduino ISP uh, programmer. Uh, I have it here. Uh, this is the circuit we're going to be building with the working uh, Arduino Micro on the left here. Uh, so you're going to connect pins 15, 14, and 16 to 15, 14, 16 of the bricked board uh, as well as the ground and uh, VCC pins and then pin 10 of the working board we're going to connect to the reset of the target board. <coughs> uh, and lastly, uh, you can connect some LEDs optionally um, or select the pins to use the onboard LEDs uh, just to indicate an uh, error state, uh, a heartbeat to show that the program is still running, and then an LED which flickers while you are programming um, the bricked board. So I've already gone ahead and, oh, these pins all align with the pinout for the Arduino Pro Micro. Uh, as you can see here, the MOSI, MISO, and S-Clock uh, pins are 16, 14, 15 in that order. Uh, I've got the circuit built here. This is the, uh, the working Arduino Micro here on this side. And I've only included two LEDs, uh, just the uh, programming and heartbeat. Uh, so if we take our broken board here, and connect it in the appropriate slot on this breadboard. There we are. Uh, we're going to be able to start doing this. Uh, the uh, first step in terms of software is you're going to want to open uh, one of the examples Arduino ISP. And there are four modifications we have to make to this file. Uh, and these are changing uh, the MOSI, MISO, and S-Clock pins and then enabling these pins to be set uh, by uncommenting uh, this define here. Uh, so as discussed, MOSI is going to be pin 16, MISO pin 14, and S-Clock pin 15. Uh, these are the only four changes to this line and these three lines. Uh, when you save that, you're going to have to save it elsewhere uh, elsewhere because it's one of the default sketches. So we'll save it here. <coughs> uh, with the Arduino ISP code modified, plug in your working Arduino Micro. Uh, and you're going to want to flash your modified Arduino ISP code onto it. There we go. And our heartbeat LED is fading, flickering, um, and neither of the other two LEDs, if the air were connected, would be on. Uh, so in this state, uh, there's just a few more things we have to uh, configure. Uh, you, obviously, you had already selected the Arduino Leonardo uh, board and your port to flash the Arduino ISP from where onto the working one. Um, and all the same, we need to make sure we select the same port, the same board, and importantly, change this programmer to Arduino ISP for the at mega 32 u 4 which is the microcontroller on these Pro Micros, uh, not just Arduino as ISP. Uh, so with all of that selected, we're able to go to Tools, Burn Bootloader, and this process will begin. And this will go on, and I will come back when it is done. All right, it has finished programming the broken board, so it now has the uh, default Caterita bootloader uh, flashback onto it. Uh, we can now go ahead and demonstrate that it's fixed by popping it out of here.
connect it to our PC. And in Device Manager, we see our Duido Leonardo now. And if we go ahead and try and flash this empty sketch to it, it will now succeed. Uh, so those are the uh, few simple steps to reflash a corrupted uh, Pro Micro Arduino clone. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps.